Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about uh, Autodesk high resolution icons. The idea is to select a bigger image uh, when the screen has, allows that. So yeah, the image or the buttons are gonna appear more sharp inside Revit, that's the idea. So here I have a, a sample that I'm setting uh, this image that looks kinda blur. And the other one is uh, a high resolution image that show really sharp. Uh, the main thing is that this works because I have a 4K uh, screen and I'm setting to 200% uh, scale. So I can fit more uh, pixels in the same uh, size. So that's why this image look, looks blur and this one uh, can fit a bigger image and show more pixels for a sharper uh, icon. So, in the in the first one, uh, I have uh, the default, the 32 by 32, uh, 960 pi image, and in the bottle I have the 64 by 64, and the double the DPI as well, 192. So that's basically how that works. If I have a configuration for 2x, I can double my icon as well. So if you don't set the correct DPI, you're gonna have something like this. So just to show well, one thing that could happen, uh, I have a 64 by 64 and I'm setting the default DPI. So that's why the Im image is cropped and doesn't show uh, correct. So yeah. And uh, one thing that's uh, interesting is that Autodesk, that, uh, AutoCAD doesn't have AutoCAD have something like that. So if I go in AutoCAD and open with 100%, so I, I'm gonna have something like this, uh, 32 by 32 and 96 DPI. And if I open with 200% my, my AutoCAD, I'm gonna have a 64 by 64 and a 192 DPI. So if you can take a look in this image, the line image, just to understand what AutoCAD is doing, uh, you're gonna have something like this. This is the file, uh, RC data 32 line. Uh, doesn't have an extension, but uh, is a TIFF file. So TIFF file can have uh, multiple size and uh, with different DPIs. So that's basically it. Uh, this have all the, this resolution, this, just for 1.0, 1.5, 2x, 3x, and 4x uh, with the correct DPI to uh, show uh, right away in the correct size. So that's the idea. If you, we use something like this to create a TIFF file for the cube, for example, uh, the red cube 32 light and dark theme, I'm gonna have something like this, uh, each size with the correct DPI, and if I do the same thing with this 16, the small icon, I'm gonna, ha gonna have something like this as well. So I uh, usually use uh, icon, icon file. So I have the 16 and the 32 by default. So if I set inside the rabbit, I'm gonna select uh, automatically uh, this the small and the bigger icon. So that's why I'm gonna join both both sides and gonna have something like this. I'm gonna have uh, five scale for the uh, 16 and five scale as well for the 32. And basically I can replace uh, the icon file with this one. And by default I can have uh, a high resolution icon if the screen allows that, yeah. So depending if you have 2x, 1.5 and so on. And I'm gonna select the correct one. So yeah, that's the idea. And I'm gonna have something like this just to uh, simplify uh, the scale and the DPI for the dark and light. So, and inside the Revit, if I use the icon and I'm using 200%, I'm gonna have uh, these icons, a little blur, but if I use the TIFF file, I'm gonna have something like this because this one is the 60, 64 by 64 uh, with a higher DPI. And I already update my library, uh, already allow the icon 
and now I'm gonna allow the chip file and I'm gonna select the or the nearest D DPI depending of the resolution of the screen and I'm gonna select the the bigger image so yeah I'm gonna appear like that with a high resolution icon that's the idea so I already updated uh, my github project to have all these icons that I show here uh, with the high resolution with all the TIFF files so if you want to download and use it just uh, have fun so yeah uh, in the future we're gonna uh, create uh, another video showing how to work with the library uh, to have TIFF files and maybe I can create some uh, TIFF files using SVG and so on so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see ya.